Oh, thank God. For a second, I thought I was the only one here. Yeah, same. I probably haven't been uh, screaming and shitting as much as you have, though. Probably. I cannot begin to fathom how much my food chute is strained from the vast amounts of hard and crusty shit that's been coming out. Food chute. Why are you trying to sound alien now? I thought we were over the weird troll lingo. Whoa, would you look at that? See that soda-stained envelope flying above with its little floppy bat wings? Let's see what it says. Open it up. Whoa, look at this! It's unbelievable, Dave! The sheer message on this note is enough to fold me over like an origami crane. Here, take a look! I see no note, unless you flipping me off is the note. Good, you seem to be smart enough to register that. Great job. Okay, now that that's out of the way, can we fucking leave now? Where? What do you mean, where? Back home! Dude, I don't know how to get back home. Seriously, if I did, I wouldn't be here. Oh, great, alright, cool, fucking awesome. I just sort of woke up in the middle of like seven Terezis playing with my hair. What? That's what I said. My first word after being birthed into the smelly piss baby ball pit was an apathetic... What? <laughs> Man, you guys have nailed the act. Okay, what the fuck? Dave, explain yourself. Uh, it's not what it looks like. And what does it look like, Dave? Uh, it looks like I've been corrupted with the apparent airborne virus inside this giant stadium of baboon sharts. But trust me, these guys are okay. They've been the least awful people I've met so far. Really? Yes. Yeah, car cat. We're cool. <laughs> I try to do my best to Rezzy voice. Was it okay? Yeah, it was awesome. <sighs> God damn it. Yeah, alright. I'm gonna go now. W wait, no, please. Please don't actually leave me here. Elsewhere? Hey there, friend. That's such a cute cosplay. Are you with your parents? How about we explore the con together? I'm Beck. We can be together to fit character. I could introduce you to some friends of mine, too. Here, come with me. Huh? Uh <gasps> Beck's right. You shouldn't go off with people you don't know. Always stay close to guardians you know and trust. The Jade? You already are Jade, silly. You're not sure how, but you woke up from a nap in this strange place full of people. This isn't like the usual dreams you have. Everyone is wearing funny costumes, too. Maybe it's Halloween. You've never celebrated Halloween. Becquerel is also here. What a good dog. You'd be sad without him to keep you company on this adventure. You sure are hungry, though. Maybe there's some food nearby. Jade, seek sustenance, for you are still growing. That's right. You want to grow up big and strong. Let's find some grub. Beck leads the way. It seems you've arrived at a food paradise. Not a whole lot of people here, though. Must not be a hungry bunch. Whatever's here smells awfully good, though. Jade, get grub. Hi! Hello. Welcome to Kanaya Fried Chicken. How can I take your order? Um, I am... Can I have chicken? Um... What kind? Like, chicken nuggets? Chicken nuggets! Alright. Just chicken nuggets? Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, alright. That'll be two dollars and fifty cents. Hmm? Um, do you have your parent or guardian with you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Where are they? Uh, my dog Beck is with me. Right. Homestuck cosplay. Well, you don't have any money then for chicken nuggets? Money? I'm sorry, but if you don't have money, you can't order any food. Oh, um, where can I get money? Uh, that's a bit of a loaded question. Loaded? Are your parents with you? Grandpa! Yeah, sure. Uh, no, I don't know where he is. So then, are you lost? Maybe? Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay, well, how about you hang tight here while I call security? They can help you find your grandpa. Really? Yeah. Yay, so then, how can I get money? What? For the chicken nuggets. Hip hip hooray! You've got yourself some chicken nuggets. You're not sure how, though. 
you didn't have any money, a nice lady gave you them for free. And you get to see your grandpa soon. Yay. <sighs> Where is security? I mean, I know everyone working here is all homestuck, but come on. They can't all be that incompetent, right? Well, whatever. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. This chicken is good. What? I can't hear you with all that food in your mouth. Sorry. Uh, I said this chicken is good. <laughs> That's good. Well, look what we have here. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, uh, I mean, crap. Oops. Hmm? Wow, more people. They must be this lady's friends. They sure do a nice job dressing up as whatever they are. What are they supposed to be? Eh, probably nothing important. Hey, Vanessa. No, no, no. Don't call me by that name like you know me. Call me by what I'm known as. Er, bad girl 413. That's better. Haha, <laughs> didn't think I'd see your poor ass here. I bet the only way you were able to get in was by signing up for a job. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> bad girl 413, do you know this girl? Ha, <laughs> as if. She's just a weirdo from school I go to, always sitting around looking gloomy. Ouch. Man, I hate these people who think they can come in here without costume. I know, right? <laughs> Aw, are you babysitting your little sister? I always assumed you were an only child. Uh... Hey kid, I love your costume. Did you make it yourself? Hmm? I see you have a dog here too. You two really complete the characters. Uh... <laughs> uh... Uh, whatever. Anyway, I hope you have fun with your little sister. She's so much cuter than you. Bye! <laughs> Wow, what a bunch of jerks. Who are they to speak to her that way? You've never seen such meanness in your whole life. The nice lady didn't deserve any of that. Um, uh, I'm sorry you had to see that. Don't worry, we'll find your grandpa. Mm, mm, I don't care right now. That was mean of him. Yeah, yeah it was. Hey, if anyone ever tries to talk to you that way, don't do what I did, alright? You have to stand up for yourself. I know. Good. You should too. Uh... Yeah. Sorry. Hey, Nan. Hey, Ed. Is this the kid? Yeah. Well, hey there. What's your name? Jade. And this is Beck. What? Wow, you guys look great. Did you get lost? I think so. We woke up on the floor, and we're here. Oh, is that right? Man, she woke up on the floor. Hey, she didn't tell me that. I'm as out of the loop as you are. Well, Jade, how about we help you find your dad? Grandpa! Right, right, Grandpa. Whoa, you can actually ride your dog. They really look the part, don't they, Nan? Yeah. Alright, Beck, lead the way. Jade, let Beck lead the way. Whoa! What the huh? Hey, where did everyone go? Beck, you scoundrel. Always zip-zapping around. Good thing you were riding back. He'd have disappeared without you. Good grief, this sure has been exhausting. You're awfully tired. Wow, would you look at that. So many people. This place sure is lively. You wonder how you got here in the first place. You guess you could have walked in your sleep, but this place seems to be apart from where you and your grandpa live. Maybe Beck took you here as a treat. <sighs> That was a big one. You better get some shut-eye. The sun is setting. Nighty night, Beck. A sky and cloud floats in alien territory, still tethered to the forces which beg its existence. Spicica! Hey guys, we're back. Sup. <laughs> Welcome back. We've just been dancing some groovy tunes. Groovy. Dave? What's up? 
What are you fucking wearing? Oh, this, uh, it's a homemade prospect shirt. Uh, the Rose Long over there made it. It's pretty soft, actually. Okay, that's it. Everyone out. All of you phlegm sacks, get the fuck out. Dave and I need to talk. Alone. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds risque. We'll stay out of your way. Oh, for the love of God. Well, have a good night, you two. We're in room 611, right next to you guys. Okay, I don't care. Go away. Carcat, relax. Shut up! <laughs> Man, you guys really love to be in character, huh? Sure do. Nothing like being Dave Strider, am I right? <laughs> Hell yeah! Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! Okay. They're gone. Can we try to get to business now? There, uh, really isn't any business to get to, dude. I'm as out of the loop as you are. Ah, uh, fuck! Fuck! Man, you were really freaking out. I haven't seen you this spastic since the meteor. What do you mean? We were just on the meteor. <sighs> huh. Before this, the last thing I remember is trying to sleep in a bed. It was so uncomfortable and awful. I don't know how you do it. Oh. Don't owe me, asshole. Sorry, I just didn't notice you were like from that time. What? Hey, uh, just a dumb question, gonna throw this out there. Was Vriska on the meteor with us? If you count a dead body being used for God knows what by a drugged out clown, then yes. <sighs> well, uh, this just got interesting. Oh, oh, it's interesting now, of course. God damn it, I am so fucking lost here. Clue me in, huh? What's so fucking interesting here? You're dressed up now like one of those autistic gremlins and just don't have a care in the world. Look, it's been a while since I got out of the house. It's fun to have people not know who you are. Or, well, okay, they think they know who you are, but, like, not really. Uh-huh. Look, I'm still convinced this is a dream. Do you have stuff on you, like a Silidex or weapons? Hey, guys. Uh, sorry to barge in, but I think I forgot my grip. Yeah, I think I have my timetables with me. The fuck does that mean? Like my time travel turntables. Did you think for a second I was talking about fucking math? For a second, I thought you were. You've been unpredictable this whole time already, so I didn't know what sort of unknown shit trick you'd pull out of your magic hat next. Hey, Carcat, I got a multiplication sheet. Let's see who can memorize the twelves. Ah, yes, that's a great idea. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dave. You're welcome. Okay, hero, pull him out. Okay, well, let's go. Go where? Home. Okay, you can't be that stupid. We obviously aren't somewhere in the past or future, so we can't just time travel back home. Okay, well, how about we go back and see how we got here? I tried that this morning. I just sort of zapped into a ball pit. How about we rest a bit or something? It's been a long fucking day. Why are you so complacent? Also, I've only been here for a few fucking hours. I can't imagine how it'd feel to be here all fucking day. Let's just skip to tomorrow. Ugh, no, dude. Look, I got a better idea. How about I sleep for tonight, but then tomorrow morning, I come back to right now and take you to tomorrow. You mean like right now? Oh, hey. Oh, sup. How's your night? It was uh, pretty alright, actually. The beds here are comfy as fuck. Oh, nice. I'm excited. Fuck! Shut up! Jesus, relax. No, I'm tired of this. Just take me to tomorrow or whatever. This is getting fucking stupid. Alright, alright. Yo, so you got the time shit under control? Uh, it's been a while since we just swerved around time styles. Yeah, dude, I got this. Which is to say, we got this. Honestly, even if we do make an offshoot timeline, like, what would that even mean in this weird place, am I right? <laughs> yeah, totally. Alright, let's go, you rapscallion. What did you just call me? You rapscallion, you scoundrel, you silly billy, you, uh, fucking idiot. Can we go? Yeah, sure. See you later, alligator. Shut up! Jesus Christ, I did not remember him being that much of a raging boner back then. Wait, that's right. Isn't he from John's original timeline or whatever it was? Maybe on my meteor he was more chill. Fuck if I know, this is stupid. What did those two say this con was about again? It's about a movie? Comic? I can't remember. I'll ask tomorrow. When in the hell did I develop this weird habit of talking to myself, too? Okay, time to sleep. Phew, that was fun. I should fix my hair before we sleep. Hey, Jack, did you get your face paint back from Dave? Uh, Jack? 
Stacy, some serious shit is going down in Dave's room. Like actual shit. Like homestuck shit. Like real, real stuff, Stacy. Dude, what? Chill out, what happened? Okay. Okay. I went to go get the gray face paint, right? But the car cat cosplayer and Dave were talking about some weird stuff. I sort of eavesdropped and... Jack, not cool. Shut up! Oh my god. Ugh. And then another Dave just fucking appeared. Like out of nowhere. And he had, like, the time travel things, and he took the car cat with him, and they both disappeared. So Dave from the next room had another Dave, but he time traveled and took the car cat cosplayer or something. What? I'm so confused. No, but, but I, I don't think they're cosplayers because... Wait, is this a roleplay? Oh man, I didn't realize we were roleplaying. Shut up! I'm not roleplaying, I'm, I'm being serious. Jack, take a second to think. As cool and awesome as it would be for the real Dave and Carcat to be here with us, it's not going to happen. Sheesh, I didn't think we stooped so low on the phantom to become delusional. No, I... Yeah, okay, this does sound stupid. Maybe I really did just see things. I'm exhausted too. Ugh, I don't know, it just looked really fucking real. <laughs> just ask them about it tomorrow. Oh yeah, good point. I probably won't though. I'd come off as super weird. Nah, they seem cool. The car cat is pretty ragey, though. Honestly, I'd believe you if you saw them doing something homestucky. <laughs> ah, whatever. I barely remember what even happened now. I'm too tired. I'm gonna head to bed. Alright. I'll fix up my hair and I'll also go to bed. Night, dude. Nighty night. End of day one.